Let's go. fashion we got some announcements y'all time for what's next. What's next, they say. So let's get to it, y'all. So last week was an amazing week. Y'all might hear my son in the background. He's uh, a night owl. His mama trying to put him to sleep, but so you might hear some uh, some uh, background to him, but uh, yeah, yesterday was very epic for us. I mean, last week was really epic. We had, you know, the Walker vs. Sonic Fox event, and uh, I'm just honored and, and blessed to be a part of that event, uh, to be a part of producing that event. So a lot of people was like, you know, Fash, what you got next? Like, what what's next on, you know, the agenda? Um, for me. Uh, doing things that you know are out the box and uh, everybody's not expecting I think that's most important for me I think that everything we do I want to be historic with I want to make sure that it's something that people you know can look back and say you know that was a moment in history now you know for the rest of life um, we'll always have this our first event being the event that Sonic Fox decided to play his opponent blindfolded. And uh, that's an amazing achievement. So I'm thankful to be a part of that event. And so now, you know, I want to do something even bigger than that. And uh, I think the next idea that I have in mind is even bigger than that, Walker vs. Sonic Fox. So I'm going to let some people come in. You know, I'm not going to, like, give it away so fast. We've just only been here four minutes. But for the most part, if anybody in there, you know, you know, uh, start chiming in the comments. I want to hear some of your ideas before I, I say my big idea. Because when I, when I tell you my idea, I think most of y'all are going to agree with me. Um, but for the most part, i like to hear what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. Let's make some let's let's do some more exciting stuff, y'all. I've been getting a lot of calls, a lot of people been uh hitting me up like fash. Uh what about doing, you know, boom boom boom? And I'm like, mm, that's cool, 
but you know looking at how waka vs sonic fox has accumulated over like 300 million views and tiktok and just recap that's that's astonishing you know what i'm saying so i i can't follow up with something that's not as as big as waka vs sonic fox so a lot of people been hit me up to get involved with different events and i appreciate those opportunities but at the same time um i think you know everything that is attached to nobi gaming no be fashion, walk a flock. I want the people to say, holy crap. Because Waka vs. Sonic Fox, a lot of people didn't think that was gonna happen. They thought, you know, this would never happen. They thought it was, you know. So I'm a type of person, you don't I'm like Marty McFly. I'm like, if you ever watch Back to the Future, and if you tell Marty McFly he a chicken, he proved you wrong. He don't like when you call him a chicken. I'm a, I'm kind of like Marty McFly. I don't like when people say, you know, fast, you can't, you know, achieve boom, boom, boom. So when everybody was like, you know, walking Sonic would never happen, y'all was like motivating me the whole time to make sure that it happened because I'm not that kind of person to where I, I don't, I like challenges, you know what I'm saying? I was always, I was raised like that. So for me, they're like, what's next? What's next? And what's next? I want y'all to just chime in in the comments. Anybody's watching right now, what what ideas do you think that I have in store for what's next? Some people are like, man, let's do it like Rocky and Apollo, like Sonic and Waka Part Two and stuff like that. And and Waka's my brother, man. Until my brother, you know, can prove to me that he can compete on that level. I don't think it's it's wise put him back in the ring with with Sonic Fox right away. Um, oh, this guy's coming in hot already. <laughs> My guy Boog, what's up, Boog Nineteen, coming in real hot. Pause, but you uh definitely uh on the right way. What's good, my guy? Um, so. Okay, my guy Book, he's got me excited already, y'all. So I'm gonna play a little bit of music, man, because I'm kind of hype. Yeah. Let's do it for the FGC. What's up, Vinny of Destruction? Let's go. It's Tuesday. But we're gonna act like Tuesday, Saturday. We hype. We live right now. This is what we do. It's Snowy Gaming. This is Twitch. Let's have fun, y'all. Chris and Lupe had some words. They sure did. That's that was wild. Book. I think uh you uh you a man of my um my own passion. You a man, my own passion. Actually, to be honest with you, uh, Book, they actually did it the same time. So when Waka called out um, Sonic Fox, then Chris G called out Lupe, and they, you know, Chris G hit me up in DMs. It's like, bro, put me and Lupe on the same bill, and um, you know, I was like, oh man, like last year when this happened, I was like, man, this this could be like some big epic uh, event. What's going on, Vornek? And so I was like, oh, man. But then a lot of people in FGC was hit me. And, you know, me and Chris G have had conversation. We uh, exchanged numbers. I got on the phone with him. And um, I heard that he made a lot of remarks uh, about women and stuff. And, and so when I seen it, I was just like, ah, oh, man, I don't know if I want to start out my first Nobi Gaming event with, you know, that type of, uh, you know, energy. So I was like, let me let me hold off for a second. And he was like, you know, I made apologies and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm Nobi Gaming is is a company that represents everybody, you know, all pronouns, men, women, all colors. And I, I just didn't want to come off like I was supportive of somebody that, you know, was, you know, down in women in, in any nature. So. That was that was my you know that was on me so I'll take that y'all that was on me uh, with that uh, but from that me and Chris G I had you know more conversations and you know he's he's really a good guy and it sounds like he really you know um, 
you know, uh, remorseful for those actions. Uh, but, you know, coming out the gate, I just didn't want the first event to have that type of, uh, you know, um, energy connected to it. So I just wanted it to be all fun, no, um, no politics, no negativity, you know. So when everybody came to me and I said, you know, I got to stand up for the women, I got to stand up for everybody. So, you know, it's not about, it's not really about, you know, like I said, money is about making a stand and, and doing things that are going to stand the test of time. So that's that's the most important thing for me. I appreciate that, Vinny. Um, so that's why that didn't happen because, you know, I was excited. I was like, oh, man, Lupe and Chris G going back and forth. But then when I heard that Chris G had such a history of, you know, uh, down talking women and I, I didn't like that. So I didn't want to do it. Um, but... With that being said, finish him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got some big announcements tonight. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh. We got some big announcements tonight, y'all. There we go. Hey, we got some big announcements, everybody. Just stay tuned. We're going to have a good time. Let's go. Let me get it. Hey, hey, shout out. Shout out to Price is Right, man. My granddad used to always watch that show, man. So I love that show. But, man, we're going to have some fun tonight, y'all. We're going to have some fun in life. Everything we do has to be fun it has to have good energy behind it i don't want to have anything that do anything negative you know what i'm saying like there's a lot of different things in the works and at the end of the day we got to make sure that all people are represented and everybody feel good about it and if everybody don't feel good i don't feel good because i want everybody welcome at anything no be gaming does oh man it's like every time i'm on this live i'm just drinking a lot of water Make sure y'all drink y'all H2O. But yeah, y'all. Um, let's see where we at right now. 11:25. All right, all right. This one I'm gonna do in five minutes. 11:30, 8:30 Pacific time, 11:30 Eastern time, our time, my time. I'll make I'll make an announcement, and y'all let me know what y'all feel if this is an event that y'all think can be epic. And y'all right here gonna be the first ones to get this announcement and we make this go viral together and when we make this go viral watch how big this will be Walker versus Sonic Fox we did that together that was a community thing I love the FGC y'all have no idea why I'm so passionate about the FGC when this corporation took my event the FGC said kick rocks we're not going to that event because we know Noby Fashion came up with it when that happened I said, man, my loyalty is with the FGC, man. Shout out to the fighting game community, man. So with that, I'm just like, man, I just want to bring a lot of excitement to the fighting game community and have fun with my family, man, because that's what it's about for me. So let me see, man. I love playing with these sound effects, man. Go get y'all a stream deck. I just want to just have an excuse to, like, play with it. What the heck happened to my Nobi sounds? Get the f***! Oh, no, we didn't do that. So... Yeah, man, we about to have that announcement real soon, y'all, real soon. What happened to the explosion? It's supposed to come back. All right, there we go, there we go. So, yeah, y'all, um, I'm going to bring that instrumental back because it goes, it goes perfect. We got three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. And then I'm going to show y'all my idea for the next event. I think y'all going to like it. I think y'all going to love it. A lot of people do events. But, uh, the way we do events, it's gonna be different. It's gonna be 
legendary, historic, monumental, all those words. That's what we're going to do. I, I appreciate that book. I ain't want to uh, ignore your comment. I appreciate that. Yeah. Let's have fun, y'all. We got two minutes. And then I'm going to make this announcement. I thought I had a drum roll on this thing. Let's go. What's this? Oh, okay. Let's go. Eleven thirty, y'all. One more minute. Hold on, y'all. I'ma just go straight to it. Let's go. Here we go. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. Announcements. Let's go. Yeah. Appreciate that. It's almost 1130. I'm going to tell you my idea for the next big event. Walker vs. Sonic Fox was amazing. I appreciate the love. But wait till y'all see what I want to do next. And that will be... Hold on, y'all. It's 11.30. It's 11.30. Y'all want to know what I want to do for the next event. And y'all let me know if y'all think this is going to be a good idea. But look at this. When that beat hit, I'm about to transition my screen. Here we go. Oh. Oh, my gosh. What do y'all think about that? Let's not do it the same way again. Let's do it even bigger. What about Waka and Sonic on the same team against Lupe and Daigo? How about that? What if I do that next, huh? What do y'all think the FGC gonna feel about that? What if I pull that off, huh? Hey, they said Waka and Sonic Fox wasn't gonna happen. What the fuck did I do? So, this is my idea. I want to have Waka vs. Lupe, and I want Sonic Fox, because he's been polishing up on his Street Fighter skills, to go against Daigo. My, this is what I want to do. They're going to be on teams. This is what I want. I want Waka and Sonic on teams. They both have to win. The, they will not win until both teammates win together. So Waka will have to play Lupe until Waka wins and Sonic or vice versa. If Lupe and Daigo win both matches, shit is done. If Waka beat Daigo, if Waka beat, let me correct. If Waka beat Lupe, if Sonic beat Daigo, shit is a wrap. I want to do a fucking Street Fighter brawl. So what if I have Waka, Sonic, Fox... What if I invite Mena, Angry Bird, Punk the God? Fuck. That should have be a big ass fucking Street Fighter, bro. You like it, Bug? I'm glad you like it. So that right there is my idea. I think this shit will fucking... Ca we did 300 million views, y'all, with Walker vs. Sonic Fox on TikTok and recap videos. Waka Sonic Fox, excuse me. Waka Sonic Fox versus Lupe Daigo. What the fuck? You, oh, this shit would be historic as fuck. This shit would, goddamn, the numbers would be in the billions. I know it. This shit would be history. That would be a banger, right? I need y'all. I need y'all take a highlight of this, and we're gonna. We gonna spread this shit all over fucking Twitter. We gonna we gonna make we gonna make we gonna manifest together. It takes numbers, you know. The last one, I said I said Waka, bro, call this man out. 
Well, I could call him out. Sonic said, I'm a 30 on your ass. We weren't going to let him do 30 and all. That shit would have been just goddamn. Ain't nobody want to see somebody get their ass with 30 times in a row. So the seven was cool. But with this, this shit could go to 30. It depends on who winning. If they keep going back and forth, then the shit going to keep going until both teams win both matches in a row. So if Waka beat Lupe and then Sonic lose to Daigo, they got to keep fucking going. They got to win two in a row. They got to have Lupe beat Waka and then Daigo beat Sonic in the same motherfucking cadence. That shit is how the fuck I want to do it. Then we can see how good everybody is. That shit is amazing. Sonic Fox is considered one of the greatest of all time. Daigo is also one of the greatest of all time. His Perry fucking classic Perry video against Justin Wong back in the early evil days is a classic. Lupe is a FGC uh, uh, enthusiast and he's, you know, super supportive. He's at a gazillion locos. You know, oh shit, Mortal Kombat versus Street Fighter. God damn, NYC Bruto. Just came with the fucking fire. Hold on, I gotta give you some shit for that one. God damn, that shit was nice. I like that idea. Shit. So, this is my idea, y'all. I wanna have Waka versus Lupe, Daigo versus Sonic. Justin Wong, get Justin Wong and F Champ in there too. Fuck, what the fuck y'all say? Man, don't get me fucking hype, y'all. Y'all know how I get hype and shit. When I'm hype, I, I don't, I fucking make shit happen, y'all. I make shit happen like I did not fucking sleep this summer. I had I snapped this fucking summer and ate like a mother. I I binge that fridge, man. Fuck that fridge stayed open so me, man. I had so much goddamn anxiety. I was like, this shit gotta happen. By the time this shit happens, I'm gonna fucking be like 500 pounds, bro. Like food is like my comfort when I'm going like stressing and shit. I'm like, fuck, this shit is massive. I gotta make sure this shit happened. So this summer, Walker vs. Sonic Fox was like my motherfucking baby. It was like all I could think about all summer. Walker vs. Sonic Fox has to happen. It has to happen September 18th. It has to happen. And it fucking did. Shout out to all of y'all for support and watching and shit. Y'all, y'all made it with it. Like, the community, y'all energy, I feed off that shit. Y'all give me hype as hell. Like, I'm reading the comments and shit. Justin Wong, F Champ. Don't give me fucking hype, because then my brain start working. I start con coming up with fucking FGC concoctions and shit. And then we make history together. Then we all sit here and, and, and bass and how we all put this shit together. You know what I'm saying? So... This right here, I fucking know. The FGC will go ballistic. This right here is my motherfucking plan. Because everybody's like, why don't you do Waka vs. Sonic Fox 2? Why the fuck would I do Waka vs. Sonic Fox 2? Sonic Fox, I could see if Waka had like a couple matches and shit. We, uh, you see me on the fucking ground, you watch that video on YouTube. I'm on the ground like I'm having a heart attack. I was like, fuck. Sonic just annihilated us. She was a massacre. So, man. <sighs> With that being said, y'all. Be fool. Be fool. Motherfucking techie in the motherfucking building. Goddamn, shouty. What the fuck, shouty? A town in that batch. Yo, what up, though? Um, You see this shit? Be fool. You see this shit? This is my idea for the next, the next motherfucking event, bruh. This is my motherfucking, bruh. Tell them. Beefle, tell them, bro. This shit would fucking set the motherfucking FGC on fire, bro. Bro, you already know. This shit, but it gotta be, we, it gotta be something different. I, I fuck with Brooklyn. Brooklyn was my shit. Shout out Alec. The team at Brookland. But something like this. Hmm. Gotta think about this venue, y'all. If y'all got ideas, let me know. Let me know. Let me know what y'all think. Because, shit. I want the FGC happy. Shit, I want y'all to say, damn. 
this shit is fire as fuck. So let me know. Because in my mind right now, I ain't sleeping. This is what the fuck I... God damn. I I woke up. I said, Waka Sonic Fox versus Lupe Daigo. Two on two. Two V two. Oh, yeah. We doing Street Fighter. Hell yeah, Street Fighter. Oh, yeah. MK, we did that. We doing Street Fighter this time. Street Gotta be Street Fighter. That's... Come on. Street Fighter. I already, that's why I said I want I want to fucking make a Street Fighter fucking brawl. I want goddamn Angry Bird. I want motherfucking Mena. I want Punk the God. Damn. Yeah. We want Punk the God. Shout out to Punk the God. I love I love the passionate ones. You know what I'm saying? I never get sensitive when people say shit. Everybody's like, Punk the God said this on Twitter about Nobi Game and Waka and, and, and shit. Punk even blocked my ass, you know what I'm saying? But hey, I don't give a fuck. Let's make history, man. Let's let's have some fucking fun, y'all. I'm not an asshole in real life. I'm only I let me correct myself. I am an asshole for the players. I'm an asshole for you know, the, the community. I am an asshole for y'all. Like, I'm a bad guy for y'all. Like, I'm not, I'm anti, you know, fucking players being superstars and struggling. I'm anti that bullshit. That's why our events, we paid the players just to play. They didn't even have to win a fucking prize pool. You got paid just to bring your motherfucking ass to the fucking ring with your controller and fight who the fuck you want to fight, goddamn? That's what the fuck we do over here. I want to change the culture. I, I'm talking on the phone with players that I respect, telling me, bro, I gotta, de I gotta determine if I could take the day off or not to even come to the event. I'm like, what the fuck? God, you a star? Why the fuck? Hell no. What the fuck is your Zell? What's your Cash App? What's your PayPal? Give me the fucking, give me the cash out, bro. You coming the fuck out. Rewind. We flew rewind from the West Coast. That's what the fuck we do. Shadow. We flew Shadow out. Because we have to make changes, y'all. These are our heroes. You know what I'm saying? Like, Daigo, this ain't going to be a, 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 an event where we trying to, like, you know, capitalize off Daigo. This is a celebration of Daigo's accomplishments. Sonic Fox. That's why we had Skull Girls come through and do a tribute to Sonic Fox. It was a tributary exhibition match. This is a tribute. Every event we do is a tribute to the FGC, to the people that paved the fucking way. Lupe and Daigo. This is not about us saying, oh, we want to call Lupe and Daigo and, and, and talk shit. These, mother, these fucking guys is fucking legends. They did the shit before we did the shit. So why the fuck would I even have the audacity to try to belittle or berate their achievements whatever the speculation whatever everybody believe how the match went that's y'all i don't want to talk about that that's politics i'm really a nice guy at in the same time as a bad guy for the players but that event let's not take away the history of it it created a fucking blueprint and when we did our event everybody was like oh man if Waka wins, we already know what the fuck is going on. I said, Sonic, if you got to whoop his ass, whoop his fucking ass. I want anybody that come in the fucking FGC from other industries to know this shit is serious. We're not coming in here and, and thinking we just going to come and bogart this shit. Hell no. We came in this with respect. That's why we appreciate everybody's time and they got compensated for that time. Because we appreciate that. These people have been in this, this industry for decades, creating something that didn't even exist before. And a lot of these times, these people didn't even get compensated to create this industry, this genre, this, this community. This community was built on the people that worked jobs, nine to fives, and saved money to go to these hotels and have fucking tournaments. If it wasn't for those people sacrificing to become a community, for us to be entertained with their skills in these video games, in these fighting games, we wouldn't fucking be here. So I would never in my motherfucking life 
disrespect that tradition and that history and the motherfucking damn man that shit got me fucking i'm glad i got gla fucking glasses on right now my eyes is watering right now think about this shit because man that's the same shit we did in the music industry when i see these young kids that just talk shit and it's like bro you don't even know my first fucking record contract was four million dollars bro these motherfuckers try to rob my fucking ass and, and buy cars and houses with my goddamn check so i'm passionate about this shit I'm passionate about these players getting paid. They just do because it's been a long time coming. I want to see fucking players, you know what I'm saying, living the life that they deserve to sustain their well-being. It's sad that players can't even fucking, you know, take care of themselves with they, they they're athletes man this is fucking crazy they are professional fucking athletes why the fuck is it called e sports if it's not a sport this is these are athletes they need to be compensated like fucking athletes that's why our event i compensated them like athletes because i i respected them like athletes athletes when they get on that fucking field when they get on that basketball court they get paid before they even step on the goddamn field so i wanted them to get paid the same fucking way so i paid them just like the real athlete no let me take that part back they all real athletes i paid them like the motherfuckers that play these physical sports because they deserve that shit they are professional athletes y'all but i had a person call me the other day i won't even put their name out there because this shit would be too much controversy I had motherfuckers say, hey, man, why don't you uh, help me put this, this shit together and get some, some fighting game players because you got a lot of, you know, trust and, and credibility now. And, and I said, you know, why don't you? I said, you're a fucking millionaire. You do events all the goddamn time. Why don't you put some money up and pay these players to come out? Man, and I don't know about doing all that shit. Man, make a pact with me, man. Let's make a pact to just, let's do events that pay players and shit. No, nah, man, fuck that. I'm going to do a tournament and they going to find a way to get here. And I'm going to just put a prize pool up. So you're going to get all the fucking money. And then you're going to put this little chump change ass prize pool up. And then they all got, everybody who lost got to go back home broken shit. That's fucked up. Hell no, I'm not going to get a part of that bullshit. You ain't going to get me involved with none of that scammy ass shit. That shit is whack as fuck. So I want to change this landscape, y'all. But I can't do it by myself. The last event we did, I tried to partner with a venue. That came up with these ticket prices that was fucking astronomical. I didn't come up with those goddamn prices, but that was the part of the deal for me to get the venue to get the. I had to create the proof of concept. It was so hard, so I was like, "Fuck, let me let me partner with somebody that I've been doing venue uh, events with on the music side." I didn't expect them to have fucking Coachella, Beyonce ticket prices. So, I got back from Evo and I said, "Hey, man." I told y'all these prices high as shit. They waited to like forever to change the shit, and then they pulled out after Labor Day, thinking it was gonna sabotage. But I stood, I stood to my ground, stood to my word. I said, you know, this shit ain't about the money. You know what I'm saying? So the ticket was like thirty fucking bucks. That's because the shit went back to the FGC. Like I, all the merch, I paid for everything on this event, y'all. Walker vs Sonic came out of our pockets, y'all. With the merch, the Sonic, the limited edition Kenshi Sonic artwork. I paid for the artist to illustrate, create the artwork for the merch. So all the merch that's bought, anytime you buy a Sonic Fox t-shirt on our website, Sonic Fox is getting compensated, y'all. So you're helping Sonic Fox also. That's the deal that I, I did in the background. That's the agreement me and Sonic uh, have together with Nobi Gaming. All that merch goes back. To, I'm trying to change the landscape so players can get paid for real. So instead of the other companies getting paid on all these players likenesses these players are learning their value and learning how to monetize themselves so that's that's what you know my experience come from is like damn you know so me coming from the music industry is it's not not me thinking i'm better because i'm not but it's having this experience of a business structure that's kind of mirroring what they're trying to do now in esports that's already been there for us. So it's like we see all the pitfalls. We see all the bullshit already. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's like, nah, we ain't about to play that shit. Oh, yeah, that walk verse. Yo, S tier, my man. Is that Christian, my guy? What's going on? You already know. You got to get on this one too, bro. Shout out S tier, man. One of the sponsors, man. Shout out S tier, Razor, Elgato. 
uh sh monster man these every these people these companies seen the vision and they supported us you know what i'm saying and so i appreciate that because it's only gonna go up from here all of us together you know what i'm saying so i'm i'm so man i almost used the word i i, I ain't heard since like elementary i was gonna say i'm so delighted i haven't heard nobody say delighted in a long time <laughs> i'm so delighted right now y'all <laughs> but this is what i'm saying man this right here imagine this match this shit is history y'all so imagine all these great fucking people like walker and, and lupe their music careers were around the same time like lupe crushed the music industry with his music like that chicago sound he came with that fucking uh lasers kick push those shits was bangers like lupe is a fucking legend to me man walker that's my brother y'all you already know hard in the paint this guy just went diamond let me tell y'all about walker flocka because some people were getting disrespectful on social media and at first i'm gonna be honest with y'all because I, I i'm always a transparent person i i want to do street fighter next and I, I don't mind having Punk involved, but that Twitter spat between Punk and, you know, the whole Nobi shit, I was anti, I was like, you know what, I don't even want to work with Punk, because it got hella beyond fighting games, like, we were just talking, like, Waka was just talking trash game-wise, and then when I came, I had COVID, I got COVID from Mark Man and Evil and shit, so when I seen it at night, when everybody's, cause I was sleep all fucking day, so when I seen it at night and everybody was like, bro, Punk and Walker going back and forth, and so when I seen it, and I seen him start talking about he probably can't pay his taxes, he probably can't afford $5,000, I was like, come on bro, that shit ain't, that's not even like classy trash talk, that shit is like too far, nobody says shit about your part. like come on man, cause we can validate all the shit, you know what I'm saying, but it was just like, that's petty, you know, when Waka called Sonic out, Sonic kept that shit straight about his skills and said, bring that shit, I'm a 30 and know your ass that punk shit was like, what the fuck, he started talking about all kind of shit yeah, he probably can't do 5,000, I don't give a fuck why does FGC be sucking on fucking player, uh, celebrity boom boom boom, I'm like, bro, like that shit is crazy, bro. Do you understand the power we have all together? If we all unite the type of fucking demographics we can reach, like, don't be so small-minded. That shit is stupid to say dumbass shit like that. So when I got on there, he was like, he's trying to get clout off me. I'm like, bro, what the fuck you mean we trying to get clout off you? Waka has went diamond on a song he released like 12 years ago. That the fuck Waka is booked five he's in the top five most booked rappers in the country every fucking year if you look on his social media he's booked every goddamn day he only has two days off the rest of the motherfucking year and that's this year he ain't dropped the album since god 10 years ago so i can't allow anybody to throw any disrespect on his name because that shit is foul as fuck we never do those shit like that we'll never get disrespectful and we'll talk about players in a certain way because that's not what we're here to do we're here to have fun and we trash talk because trash talk is part of the game you know what i'm saying you're supposed to do that when you fucking competitive but you don't talk i, I wouldn't get on social media and say things about punk that that are too you know some like alleged personal shit you know what i'm saying that i make up i want i want to make up no personal shit just to you know sway the people that shit i, I just didn't like that so when i seen it he was like yo he's trying to get clout and i'm like bro waka got 1.8 million followers on fucking twitter what are you talking about he's using your name for clout you you only got like ninety thousand. like what the fuck that's not even 10 percent. you know what i'm saying so then he blocked me and shit i'm like god damn he blocked me like a motherfucker shit i said fuck got blocked by god god didn't block me y'all god damn i'm a motherfucking mortal a fucking human this motherfucker blocked me man for i was like what the fuck all i said was bro you got less than 10 percent of his followers and he blocked me i said damn so i don't hate punk because i'm a grown-ass man i gotta show leadership i gotta show maturity so it would be immature for me to belittle that that person because that doesn't show you know leadership I'm, I'm i'm supposed to be a leader which my goal here is to bring everyone together so why would i 
talk shit about him or to you know belittle him but i just had to keep it 1000 those remarks that was made was unnecessary and it was to me disrespectful you know what i'm saying so i just had to let it let it be known what i felt about it i felt like damn that shit was over the overboard and um you know we would have never came at him like that but if we do this match up here and we have a street fighter tournament involved I have no problems with Punk being involved because Punk is amazing at his skill. That motherfucker nice, y'all. That motherfucker nice, y'all. I'm not a motherfucking hater, not at all. I'm 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 the real as I get. Yeah, yeah, I agree, Vinny. And and the thing about it, like, I gotta remember, I come from a different era. I come from the RK era. And when you're in the arcade and you're a little fucking kid in the arcade and you got these big ass teenagers and motherfucking high school guys of that bitch. <laughs> and these motherfuckers talk, hey, get your little run ass away from this motherfucking arcade stick little player. <laughs> you know, get your little punk ass over there. You know what I'm saying? You got, you, you grow, you get this thick skin. So I'm like, oh shit. All right. I go home, get that shit on Super Nintendo playing Street Fighter, go back to the arcade. And I'm like, damn. Now the high school kid's like, Damn, hey, get that little run over here. A little run kind of nice, yeah. Because you learn, like, shit, that's part of the game. So for me, trash talk, I grew up on that shit. My uncle was probably one of the hardest fucking people I met. Shout out, rest in peace to my uncle Sean. He passed away when I was in, like, third grade. He was, you know, a uh, real, real, you know, real tough guy. So when I was in kindergarten, my uncle Sean used to make me play chess. And, uh, yo, shout out Sonic Fox. Uh, that motherfucker's ill at chess too so when i was in kindergarten i played chess so life for me is like hella strategic i gotta look at everything and think shit through so sometimes people could text my phone or call and i won't even answer right away because i gotta think shit through and make sure that everything is calculated because everything in life is chess but my uncle taught me that in kindergarten because when i was in kindergarten my uncle would make me play chess with him and i know what the fuck i was doing so then when I made the wrong move, I tried to move the pawn like a knight and do the little L movement. And my uncle was like, cuffed me in the back of the head. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? This shit is, this shit ain't fun. You know what I'm saying? So then my uncle put the move back, put it back. All right, make the right move. So then I take the goddamn uh, uh, fucking uh, bishop or some shit and, you know, move the wrong. He's like, Psh, you about to fucking lose. Cuff me again So then I'm fucking crying In kindergarten Like man Cause he babysit me But this is like A tough guy in real life So He don't give a fuck About no tears So he like Look Nephew I'm trying to teach you About life In life Life is chess And in life You can't Take the move back Once you make it It's permanent So you gotta make sure You think every fucking thing through So me hitting you in your head Is not as hard as life Gonna hit your ass and that shit stuck with me to, like glue to this fucking day. And my uncle was a strategic motherfucker. The only reason he passed away because the people that came to do some things to the neighborhood were, were shooting in front of children. And my uncle was able to flee, but he saw a child on a fucking tricycle about to get you know uh hit by strays and he turned back around and jumped in front of the child and said it's my time because it'd rather be his time than that child so strategically my uncle was like he could have just left but he was like this child is innocent and doesn't deserve these consequences so that to me was something that i learned like yo like you know you got to be careful with your decisions and, and the karma that comes behind it so with that being said yo i'm I would be, here we go, we're going to bring that word back again. I'd be delighted to have fucking Punk involved because Punk is amazing at Street Fighter. And I just want to make fucking history, y'all. I want to make history, y'all. We make some fucking history together. That's all I want to do. I want to keep making history. S-tier, we made fucking history, bro. Bro, that fucking, bro, we did 300 million fucking views on TikTok. And recap videos You type in Waka Sonic Fox On Google and shit That shit said 237 million views In four days That S tier logo Is every motherfucking Where it's on World Star It's at Bro you the fucking man Shout out S tier So 
I can't wait to see what we do next. And so this is what I'm saying, y'all. It's so much power in unity and community. That's why the word unity is in community. So it's so much power in that when we work together. If we put this out, put that in the atmosphere, walk a sonic verse, Lupe Daigo, watch what the fuck happened. And don't ever put a battery in my back. Because when you do that shit, I go to the fucking moon, y'all. That's how I move, y'all. So I'm excited. I want y'all, if y'all can, help me and share this fucking shit around. If you ain't following me already, follow this Noby Gaming Twitch. Follow on all social media because we're going to get turned up and we're going to keep doing it bigger and better. There's so much shit in the works. I got so many calls after that event that they're like, bro, why don't you bring that mindset here? Why don't you bring it here? And for me, I'm like, will it make sense for the FGC? One of the things I want to ask y'all since y'all are here with me right now, what do y'all think about Noby Gaming doing an FGC event with bare knuckle boxing? What do y'all think about me merging real FGC with real boxing? How would that how would that feel? What would that vibe feel like? Because I heard a lot of people in the FGC really like, you know, MMA and uh, you know, uh bare knuckle boxing. So if anybody want to do both, it might be something we were working on in the same week. So if you watch the Walker vs. Sonic Fox uh, live stream, my boy Josh, he's tapped in in the boxing world. And uh, they were saying that, um, you know, they want to do it in January uh, in Miami. So that's a conversation. The best way to conquer fighting games must know how their opponents think and the spots they don't often watch and write down and memorize all of your characters moves study them i appreciate that tidbit because i sure need it so he said i'm aware uh h sim said i'm aware some do mma and boxing but can't name any off top of my head do y'all think that would be a good idea of a fgc and a bare knuckle boxing um event because bare knuckle boxing already said it's a green light if if we uh you know decide to collaborate so i just want to make sure that it's something that the fgc would be like okay this is dope because i don't want to do too much shit that people be like man that's just like some gimmicky shit i want to make sure everything is authentic organic and it feels real to the fgc so my guys kp katana prime he's from miami and kp was like bro that shit is like an amazing idea he said you merge that shit together that should be crazy so he was like you know we were thinking the friday night can be a bare knuckle boxing night so whoever's fgc based but i'm thinking do we want to have the fgc the game part before the boxing because if somebody actually is doing both events they might be too fucked up the next day to even play video games so maybe they might want to do the video game part first and then do the actual you know combat because motherfucker might have some black eyes and swollen quasimodo facial features the next day and they can't fucking play a fucking game you know what i'm saying so yeah man i'm thinking the boxes because the way they was like bro they was like yo they was like you should probably have the um the um boxing in fgc on saturday and i was like maybe we might have to do the fgc stuff first and then the boxing next because if they're doing the boxing and then they're doing street fighter mortal kombat they're gonna be too fatigued they're gonna be limping like a motherfucker to that playstation 5 they <laughs> you know what i'm saying we i don't want that shit that shit would be the ugliest fgc fit ever motherfucker sit there and shit like <laughs> Damn, bro, motherfucker got cast, got cast on and shit, fucked up eyes and shit, sitting there like, oh, shit, like, damn, yesterday was fucked up. Hell no, man. I don't know about that, y'all. That shit might not be the move. So we got to figure that shit out. But that's the thing, man. When you bring innovation, it has to make sense. And it's, it takes people that are like the risk takers to change the conversation for others that have the opportunity because my main goal and objective is to bring more revenue based opportunities to players to gamers everybody you know what i'm saying so like i mentioned earlier we paid every single player like a professional athlete they got paid when you walk on that field when you walk on a basketball court you get a check as soon as you touch that court you should you supposed to get a check as soon as you walk in the room to touch that fight stick or those controllers and y'all see i got my damn my ps4 controller i got playstation 5 too but 
for some reason when I play Brawlhalla, I don't like playing Brawlhalla with the PS5 controller. For some reason, it's like my hand faster on this little ass PS4 controller. So anytime I play Brawlhalla, I use the PS4 controller. But when I play Street Fighter and my other games, I play with the PS5. Uh, the knowledge of gaming skills would be distance. Unless for certain fighters, this is mostly strategy formation. I feel like if they get smacked in the game, they might <laughs> want to take out their frustration physically. That is a good, uh, hey, shout out. It's that dark the lad that's a good uh you know perspective uh so it's definitely gotta be executed the right way y'all because i'm just like damn how the hell do we do this the right fucking way like i don't want nobody to be like that shit is weird as hell you know what i'm saying but it's such a it's such a synergy between the real fighting world and fighting games and music all that shit that's why like the waka sonic fox shit was not really a no-brainer because you look at like wu-tang and five deadly venoms and all the martial art movies all that shit all comes like we all came from the same influence you know what i'm saying so a lot of people you know watch the same movie like you might go to somebody else who's in the studio or go to the studio and they watching the same martial art movies that somebody in the FGC might watch. It's the same shit, bro. It's just, you know, different walks of life. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, if I was a kid and I had uh, fucking FGC in the 90s, like, it was, like, fucking the way it is going now, I probably would have never been a musician. You know what I'm saying? I, mu I play video games more than anything when I was a kid. Like, I'm like, that's what the fuck I do now. Like, as soon as I get off this live stream, I'm turning the PS5 on. You know what I'm saying? So... All the FGC needs is good ticket sale, percentage payouts. The rest will take care of itself. Okay, add in some celebrity exhibitions and all the better. Vinny is on point. V Evo payout versus ticket sales was a joke. Gaming is a divinely ancient magical art of strategy and calculated thinking. Being a fighter and a psychological warrior is two different things. Okay, okay, I'm reading the comments, y'all. Um, so... Yeah, I take in that 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 consideration. Um, but hold on, y'all. Some people coming in, they ain't see. So I'm about to play this music one more time. It's 12.05. We're going to show them one more time. What the mastermind game plan is. This Waka Flocka vs. Sonic Fox. I mean, Waka Flocka, Sonic Fox vs. Lupe Fiasco Daigo. God damn, that shit will be amazing. That shit will be amazing. I want everybody to go to Twitter and be like, that's what we got to do. We got to make this a whole wave, y'all. When they go to Twitter, they're going to be like, that's what we got to do, y'all. So I know with the community, with everybody on the same page, it's a lot we can do together. All we got to do is unite on, on Twitter and start putting this shit out. Take some screenshots, y'all, and share this shit. This is what the fuck Noby Fashion said he want to do next. FGC, this is what we want to do next. Let's make this shit happen. All this is a conversation. I need Lupe. I need Daigo. I need them to contact. Or I need somebody. I need to just fucking talk to somebody, shit. I might hit up Markman because Markman produced the Lupe and Daigo match in the first place. So I might have to call Sensei, Sensei Markman and say, Mark, this is what, uh, you know, Luke Skywalker, no be fashion, is thinking of doing. How the fuck we get this done, bro? Let's do it. You owe me. You gave me fucking COVID and evil, goddammit. Mark, what the fuck? Damn. Nah, Mark, my guy. <laughs> But no, he did get me sick. It's crazy because Mark had a mask on the whole damn time at Evil. Then the day he chose not to wear his goddamn mask, he got fucking COVID. Then I came home. I was on the plane like, damn, my throat hurts like a motherfucker. And I don't even smoke. What the fuck? I got home. I was like, I'm just going to take a nap. That nap turned to days. I was like, damn, I can't get the fuck up. What the fuck? So, yeah, man, y'all don't want that shit. That shit sucks. But with that being said, yo, I love y'all. 
Let's spread this shit. Let's make this shit fucking happen. Waka Flocka, Sonic Fox versus Lupe, Fiasco, and Daigo. Street Fighter fucking tournament and another fucking celebrity undercard match. It's your boy Fashion, and we fucking gone, y'all. I love y'all. Let's fucking go.